you're watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. I've got a Roper Knives review for you today. And if you're not familiar with Roper Knives, they're a brand of American Buffalo Knife and Tool. They have 1065 carbon steel blades. Well, this one just has one blade. But they are 1065 carbon steel. And American Buffalo Knife and Tool is just ABKT there, the abbreviation. You've got the information about the limited warranty here. I'll let that stay on the screen a moment. You can pause and read it if you'd like. If you want more information about their products, it's abktinc.com. This is model number RP0011. All right, so let's look at the knife. We have here the Roper Pecos Liner Lock is officially what it's being called. Now I got this on Smoky Mountain Knife Works for $16.25 before shipping. And it's actually more expensive on Chicago Knife Works, so that's probably the best place to get it is Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Let's look at some measurements here. We've got a four inch handle, right? And the blade is a clip blade, which measures about three and a quarter inches. We've got a cutting edge of two and three quarter inches. And um, let's look at the blade here. We have a clip blade with a saber grind. And uh, I think it's a pretty attractive saber grind blade there. Nice clip blade shape. On the front, you've got the etch of the logo there and rope of Roper. Of course, the R was kind of a rope design to it. Then on the other side, you have carbon. And then below that, you have PR0011, the model number. And then below that, you have PRC, which is the People People's Republic of China. I'll let you know it was made in China. Overall length of the knife open is just over seven inches. I'll call it seven and a quarter inches. And let's get a weight on this guy. Pull out the old trusty scale here. I'm going to guess it's around three ounces. And it's right at 3.2 ounces. And for grams, you guys that like grams, that's 90.69 grams. All right. So what we've got is yellow Deller and handles. Um, you know, nice smooth transitions on the bolsters, the pins, the inlay of the shield is really nice. The pins on the back seem really nice and smooth. The transitions there seem fine. Uh, the deep the pocket or pocket clip is not deep carry. You can see it it stops here, so you'll have that much exposed above my thumb here in your pocket. Now it's never been a problem for me because I usually don't wear my shirt tucked in anyway very very much when I'm carrying. You know, so it's never going to be completely exposed for me anyway, but for those that like the deep carry, it is it is not a deep carry. Um, but I found the pocket clip to be very useful. I find it very easy to get onto the pocket itself. Um, sort of a little diagonal slide does the job with one hand. You don't really need both hands to do it. Um, you've got stainless liners on this, and you can see the build. Uh, the Website said it was a brass liner, so a little error there on their part in describing the liners and pins. They're both stainless. So the modern attachments, obviously, the thumb stud and the clip, and they've just put it on this little folding hunter and called it a Pecos liner lock. So let's take a look at the liner lock. You can see I can open this with one hand, no problem. And there's the lock up. I'd say it's probably better than 35%, 40%. Uh, with the left hand, I don't really have any problems pushing that over and giving it a good close. Right-handed, I'm going to be a little more awkward. 
because I am not a raggy, but I can still perform it as intended. So if I can do it, certainly a writer, right handy can do it. Right hander can do it. Um, what else about the knife? Um, need a little lubrication when I first got it. Wasn't super uh, smooth. Uh, needed a little work. But you can see, no problem opening it with the thumb, and that's really important. You have a smooth action when you have a thumb open, a thumb stud open type knife. It needs to be, you know, it can't be stiff at all. It needs to be nice and nice smooth action on the bl blade and the pivot to uh, to open it. Nothing worse than having a thumb stud that you can't open the knife. Now, initially, I wasn't overall excited about this knife uh, when I first saw it on the website, but it kind of grew on me as I got the, a closer opportunity to see it on RJ's knives, and he talked about how he enjoyed carrying it. You can see the centering of the blade isn't perfect, but, you know, it's just one of those situations where you touch it a little bit, and then it's perfectly centered. We don't have any blade rub or anything like that. A couple other little things about the knife that maybe most are not aware is it has a couple detents. So when you get it to this open position here, it has a detent before it locks in. And then after it's locked, you have another detent here at the bottom. So nice smooth detents there to keep it closed and then get to that open position where you click it in. Um, I guess there's multiple ways you can open this thing, but, uh, you know, for a right-handed person, it's going to be a cinch, and once you get that action right, even a left-handed open is not an issue at all. So, I definitely will be carrying this knife. I like the way it fits in the pocket. Um, one thing I will say, a couple of bad things is, kind of wish it had the brass liners instead. Um, there's a little bit of a hot spot for left-handed carry as you see this clip extends beyond the shape of the handle there so that does poke into your hand when you're giving it a really firm grip right here um, you could just easily take that off that clip off remove it file it down a little bit and you could probably get that to be improved there so not a huge issue uh, another thing is um, the the grip on the blade, or excuse me, the handle is not great when it gets wet or a little oily from, like, say, the spring or, or not the spring, but the the oil coming through the bottom of the knife or getting on your handle here, um, it gets pretty slippery. It, it's it's not uh, a grippy handle. So if you're going to be using it in the mud and muck, it might be not be the greatest handle choice. Um, gets pretty slippery. But uh, otherwise, I really like the knife. Um, intend to carry it quite a bit and give it more use and get more used to opening it. So uh, it's, a, it's a knife that I think has a good value. $16.25 Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And... Uh, i uh, probably be checking out some more Roper Knives real soon. But I want to thank RJ for, for providing his video because now I have a knife that I really enjoy carrying. And uh, it's not every day that I find a knife that I really want to carry. Um, I have a lot of knives I just have because I like them. But um, this one is actually going to get a lot of use. So props to RJ for showing me this Pecos. Well, right, that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I think you will like this if you give it a, a fair chance. Um, I know a lot of you guys want the full traditional setup, but uh, having a one-handed one open blade, you know, it's pretty cool. And uh, you can't get that in a lot of the traditional knives. And a bigger knife, you know, maybe a little too big for the pocket, so you've got the clip with the 4-inch handle. So, yeah. There's some, some nice additional features to this knife that uh, I think it make make a lot of sense and uh, make it a nice carry. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell so you're made aware of new videos when they drop. You guys have a fantastic day, and take care.